Hey guys, Fozzy here. Welcome to another edition of Fozzy at Home. One of my favorite advertise, founders slash advertisers is the one, the only Cornel Sanders. You may not know though a whole lot about him, like though, in addition to his cool beard, goofy commercials, and of course, delicious chicken. But what you do, but but his. But there's a lot, definitely a lot. Of course, okay, Cordo Sanders, like as many people may not know, started his business out of a gas station in Corbin, Kentucky called Sanders' Kitchen. He ended up like, he ended up doing that and expanding it all the way to be the place that we know and love today. He ended up expanding it like across the universe where Cornel Sass, whose real name was Harlan, ended up going around like in his iconic white suit, white goatee, and like and black cane attempt to spread the wars, appearing in like commercials for his own restaurant. He did it. He did this for several years to like do st add style to his image. Believe it or not, Cornell was really so was really really so passionate about his recipe that at one point when KFC did finally change it, he actually sued it. Now our beloved Cornell unfortunately passed away in 1980, and se but several actors have done. God, I like to do be good with placements for his commercials. It's George Hamilton, Rob Riggle, Ray Liotta. One of my personal favorites is Dale Hammond. So, believe it or not, and I'm, the, I'm probably the only one who remembers, Cornel Sanders appeared in Animated for the end of some pretty op cool commercials, I think they're cool, back in 1998, voiced by Randy Crane. But unfortunately, Randy Crane, who basically turned into commercial Cornel Sanders, is now, is now kept away and can't do, do them. So, the, the man who we often always see on the buckets is uh, also had a Christmas album out called Christmas with the Cordle. At this at this point in time, I haven't listened to it, so I can't tell you whether it's good or not. Cordle Sanders also has like a call a to listen program that started with a ride he gave somebody on the side. Of the road, of the road every year. He was held as the original celebrity chef, and for good reason. Now, in, con in the end, Colonel Sanders may may be the guy we'll only, we'll only remember on his buckets and signs. But I definitely think his story's pretty amazing and leaves a good taste in our mouths. 
so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Riva Dorchi.